Hiller. I, this is my Halloween home tour 2024 in this new house. <clears throat> so I went through and purged a whole bunch of my old Halloween decor and <clears throat> to help it figure out how I'm going to decorate this house this year. So I will show you what I came up with. This is new stuff. This one I like because it looks like Victor. This is the bar area. Back up. No, this is the other glasses. These are new too. These were from, uh, I think, Home Goods. Yeah, Home Goods. Let me back it up. So I've tried to keep it sort of simple. I say that every year, but this is just what I have on the bar. I love that bat. I think it's really cute. And this is just the jukebox room. And I don't have anything up there. And the only other thing I have, oh, I have my boo up here. My boo, I got that last year. Nothing. This is what we did. We have pull down shades, but these windows down below here. Let's see, I have windows here. This is a sad note. And the dogs use this just to drive themselves crazy barking out at the street. So I got these shades and mounted them here so that I can leave the upper part open and nice and quiet. I'm still waiting on the one for here, see? Because they'll stare out. See, we have a, a great big hood that's way up there. Tall one, but it blocks the whole window. This way I can just do this bottom part and keep them quiet, hopefully. That's my story anyway. The other, I have this vintage... Hard plastic. Is this a Rossboro? I'm not even sure. It's marked. I don't think it, it's one of those ones you used to put a battery thing in and a light when you're going trick or treating back in the day. But I thought that was cool. And then on the glass shelves, or the shelves I used to display my mid century glassware, I just put these mid century pumpkins, my collection. I used to put these in my display cabinet at the other house, but these are all from, I think they were from Marshall Fields. Yeah, and they're all different. They all look hand cut to me. And I used to find them at the thrift stores for really, really inexpensive. That one's cute. See, the faces are all different. I haven't found any for a while, but I've always got my eye out. And a couple of these were um, Mr. Retro's when he was a kid. I don't remember. So these are these are probably from the 50s, 60s. So that's how of that room. And I'm okay. This is what I did. I'll show you my secret. This is where I'm keeping all my Halloween stuff. That's my excess up there. So it all fits in here, which is awesome for me. From bins to... I didn't do anything in the entryway. This is fine the way it is. Then you can peek over there. And in here, on this one, there's another one of my pumpkins. And I have battery, those Pottery Barn battery timer light thingies. Like, oops, that one back there. That come on about five o'clock. And I just put these witch hats on my Ikea people because I really like them. I got these yesterday at a sale and they have I mean, this one's easier to get off this boo I use every year I don't know I just really like it let's see if I can get this guy off with one hand see there's just a light in there and these are really neat they're metal and somebody made them look at the kitty on there so I think these are really cute and that's a wooden base there and my Ikea guys Nothing else here. There's a scavenger right there. This Coco. Waiting to see what's next on the menu. And here is, I don't put the light on. This is a Pottery Barn knockoff. I got a Marshall's candy dish. These are those little guys I got from Daiso. There's some more. And that's my Blythe doll. More Daiso. And this is that dollar store. See, oops, it's hard to see, I'm blinding, yeah. That's one of those lights from Timu. I took out the battery-operated light from Dollar Store, 
because you couldn't even see these little lighty things. So I, that's what I've been doing on most of them. I, that's why I bought several of those. Over here, we have my Isaac Miserahe, big old, big old, big old guy. <clears throat> he was from Marshalls at the beach. This is the terracotta, where did I get that? Oh, TJ Maxx. Because I saw the ones at Pottery Barn, they were really nice, but I didn't want to spend $90 because I wasn't sure if I liked it. And that's from last year. That's just one of those felt guys. And this is, Victor hates this. These are dog toys, but Mr. Retros won't let him have them. So they have to live in this uh, resin boat. And <clears throat> there's my Motionat. I love him. I think I have another one at the beach, and I think I have a witch at the other house. But I like this vampire. He's so attractive. And this is, an, this is the other dollar store gumdrop. And it, see, it's on one of those lights. There you go. It look, it's brighter. So that's how that looks. Let's see. There. And there. And we got a shot over here. And that's, I think that's plenty of stuff. And I got, I had a haunted house on here. I didn't like that Dollar Tree haunted house. I just wasn't feeling it. So I went to, where did I get this? Home, home Goods. Home Goods. This cement looking jack o' lantern. And I have a, um, See, there's one of those Pottery Barn. Ooh, I can't hardly see it. There's a Pottery Barn flickering light in there. So it comes on about four or five. Then this one, I got that. Let me see if I can get over here. That's a Martha Stewart pumpkin. I liked it, but it's light sucked. It wasn't on a timer. And so I put one of those, you can see, Timu things in there. And it has a switch on the cord. It plugs in the wall. That's a Timu skeleton. He was all plastic and I aged him. Let me see if I can show you. I airbrushed him. He was pla white plastic. And this is that mask from, let's see if I can get over here, from Daiso. Just sort of a creepy mask is stuck there. And this is my space corner. This is that. Uh, Mars Attacks thing. I think it was from, uh, looks like it's loose in there. Gee whiz. Is it? No. No, I guess it's not. Why is he tilting over like that? I, I think it's, it's new last year. It was from that Spirit, Spirit Halloween? I think. I can't remember now. So that's kind of cool. And then this is the 3D printed pumpkin man I got from Timu. And that's just my beautiful Julian girl. Look how nice and big she is. This one, I guess you could see. My hay wake up here. Let's see. I guess these are my, let me turn this on here. There's my free bed springs. These are the felt candle people. I made a couple years ago. That's just a vintage ghost. She's not lighted. And this is the other one. See, they're kind of shocked. And this is the china cabinet with my, boy, it's hard to find this Joanna Parker now. I think she, let me see, I'm getting a glare here. I think she undid her deal with magenta. These are the plates I got at the garage sale yesterday. They're melamine, but they're really nice. They're from uh, Pier One. And that's a spode dish. I wish she would have had more of those. I really like that spode dish. So I ditched the ones I made. But I really, this is my, this isn't Joanna Parker, but he's he's cute. He's from Home Goods. And I don't think that teapot's from Joanna Parker either. But this is, this is the ghost. Let me see if I can get this open. This can be tricky to open. Okay. That ghost is the Timu one. 
because I couldn't find the ones. And this is the dollar store jar, and I paint matte finish and painted the orange gray and more of those plates and Joanna Parker. And that came out pretty good. I think that's pretty good. That's it on there. And the only other thing I have is nothing. Oh, this is the jack-o'-lantern from Daiso. I just put my uh, base in there with my dahlias. And the only other thing I have is back here. Turn this light on. I have my Department 56 Bride of Frankenstein. I just put her back here next to the Space Needle. So that's all I have. So, happy Halloween. I hope you're all getting to decorating and having fun. I'll see you later. Bye.